Hey everyone, um, happy Friday. I don't know why I have this glow around me, but I'm just gonna go with it. So um, happy Friday, thanks for tuning in. Um, I love to read. You guys that know me well probably already know that, but here's a book, here's a book, one of the books that I just bought, and I love to read. So whether or not you love to read, I just wanted to tell you on this video that we all have stories, right? Even though even though uh, you may not be a reader, you have a story. We uh, tell ourselves stories all the time. So subconsciously, uh, we are sort of uh, telling ourselves about our circumstances. If our story is positive, then we are going to be in a really good mood and we're gonna feel great about it. If the story that we're telling ourselves is negative, though, that we're gonna we're gonna lose hope, we're gonna be um, we're gonna feel bad, we're gonna be fearful, we're not gonna have confidence, and so on. And the stories that we tell ourselves inside of us not only affect how we feel, but they really affect how we see things, how we experience things, and then what we think about those things, whether they're true or not. So stay with me and let me explain a little bit further and see if you can even relate. So let me know if you can relate by putting some things in the comment section if you have had these experiences. Um, so the stories that we tell ourselves, that's why there might be numerous people who experience the same thing, but each of them in turn tells a different story or a different interpretation of that event. Um, each of us goes through things differently um, and we, we uh, sort of give a different dialogue to that same event. Um, old stories can come up. Um, so, you know, um, our, our unique stories determine how we feel and really how we relate to people. And sometimes it's that slightest difference that can even make a difference. Um, here's an example. So our families, um, our kids, I have three boys and I've taken them, we've taken them all on vacation. And it's funny that um, I can talk about that vacation from years ago, but at the same, but I will get three different interpretations about things that have happened on that vacation. Can you relate? Um, and if we really want to walk in tandem with each other, here's sort of the gist of my video. We really need to look at our perspective and other people's perspective of what's going on in their life. Um, the stories that we tell ourselves can really, really narrow our perspective and the way we see things. Here's an example. One, uh, and it might not be the best example, but it's, it's one I'm gonna give anyway. One of my sons is colorblind. Uh, my dad was colorblind. I don't know if it's a hereditary thing or not, but one of my sons is colorblind. And it doesn't matter how many times you tell him that, hey, it's this color, he's going to tell you it's not that color. It is not. So his perspective, he sees something a completely different color. Here's another example. My husband and I were just on vacation together in France, and we were in Notre Dame. And we both walk in together and we are astounded by what we see. He immediately focuses on the stained glass windows, the huge um, frescoes, the, um, the um, sculptures. And I focus on, and this might be a little bit weird, but I focus on how old the wood is and the columns, and, and I'm focusing on one part where people were sitting, the aisles, and he's focusing on other things. So his perspective and I, and, and mine, when we talk about Notre Dame, is completely different. It was still beautiful, but we had our own stories that we had told about it. Here's another story. It's this old um, parable, if you will, about blind uh, three blind men they were each uh, brought up to an elephant and they were their hand was put on the elephant on a different part of the elephant they didn't know what they didn't know it was an elephant so one started feeling its trunk the other one started feeling its tail and one started feeling its leg none of them 
told a story that was the same after they were asked, what is it that you're feeling? One felt completely different because he was feeling the trunk. The other one was feeling an ear, if you will. The other one was feeling a tail. They came up with three different stories, three different completely um, separate uh, stories that they told in perspectives. So similar things happen though, when we look at our past experiences, the stories that we attribute to our past. So some of us um, may have lost a parent or a sibling. Uh, they, may have, they may have died. One of us may have experienced um, maybe some backstabbing from a friend or a family member. One, uh, some of us may have experienced a spouse or a significant other cheating on us. Uh, maybe discrimination or abuse, or maybe some of you are, are out there have, have been fired from a job. So you have a story to tell about that situation. Unfortunately, our old stories come up with new experiences and they can be painful. And they tend to have us narrow our perspective on situations. So what we naturally do is we fill in the gaps of things that are happening in this day right now by clinging to the stories that we're familiar with because they're familiar and old habits die hard. So we try to make sense of what's happening in the presence by using those old stories from our past as a filter because they're, com they're comfortable. Um, so I do coaching and I've coached people on this uh, many, many times. What are the stories that you are telling yourself from your past? What are the old beliefs that you're clinging to? Um, so old stories exist in our mind and we have to edit them. We have to change them. We have to look at how we're looking at them so that our perspective is changed, so that we don't bring all these old stories into our future and that, so that we can live so and live to the fullest. So what do we do with this information? That we all have stories that we tell ourselves in our mind from our past experiences and we filter out what's going on now using those old experiences. So what do we do if those old experiences are messing with what's happening in the here and now? So here's what you can do. And they're very simple. There's just three things. And again, guys, these are my opinions. So take it, uh, take it for that. The first thing that you can do with your present situation, and if you feel like you are you don't know what to do about it, or you don't know, it's just not setting well with you. I would like you to question your perspective. Why are you feeling that way? Why do you have this perspective, but everybody else has another perspective, or most people have another perspective? Start questioning your story. Number two. Number two is accept that your old story is false or accept that it happened but it doesn't define you it either is completely false or it happened but it doesn't define you so if you were told as a kid that you uh, were chunky or that you were a dumb blonde or that you um had no social skills, or that you were annoying, or that your spouse cheated on you so you're not worthy of future love. You need to accept that maybe it was told to you, but do not accept that it's truth. And number three, number three. So the first one you need to do is you need to question your thinking. Number two is accept that it's false or it happened, but it doesn't define you. And number three, be willing to write a brand new edited version of your story. Begin to edit that old story and live again. 
so that's it. My video today is to just hope you to help you hope that it will help you to understand that we've been telling ourselves stories about everything. Honestly, uh, you do it all the time. I do it all the time. But we need to be willing to change our perspective, see others' thoughts on it, and to question why we're thinking about it. Uh, this comes up in coaching all the time, and once we can put our finger on it, then we can start to edit it and our life begins to change. So I hope you got some value out of that. If you if you liked it, please share it with somebody that you think might need to listen. Um, when I get on and talk uh, live, it's usually something that has been um, actually spoken into me at one point or another, and I love, love, love to pay things forward. So that's what I'm doing today. Enjoy your Friday, and again, if you got any value out of this, hit the share button and send it to a friend of yours. Enjoy your day, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.